A pleasant good evening and greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We are from the Aruka Worship Center. Our host pastor is Bishop Bedukai, and we are located at Lower Railway Road, Aruka. Welcome to our prayer meeting. At this time, I'd like to hand over to Sister Rachel, who's going to open us in a word of prayer, followed by a praise and worship. Sister Rachel. Hallelujah. Join me this evening as we sing, welcome into this place. Hallelujah, Lord. Just bless you this evening, God. There is none like unto you, God. Oh, we worship you, God. Oh, we worship you. Oh, oh, oh we welcome you in this place. Welcome into this place. Welcome into this broken vessel. You decide to abide with the praises of your people. So we lift our hands as we lift our hearts, as we offer up this praise unto your name. Oh, let's sing creation, creation declares your glory, the universe declares your majesty. Yet you choose to abide in the praises of your people. So we lift our hands as we lift our hearts, as we offer up this praise unto your name. Oh, sing with me. Oh, welcome into this place. You are welcome into this broken vessel. You desire to abide in the praises of your people. So we live our hands and we lift our hearts as we offer up this praise unto as we as we offer up this praise unto oh we welcome you oh god let's sing welcome into this place, oh, you will come into this broken, this broken vessel. You decide to abide in the praises of your people. So we lift our hands and we lift. Oh God, we just bless you, oh God. 
And this evening, oh God, we thank you, oh God, that even though we cannot gather together physically, oh God, or in person, God, that we can gather and we have this opportunity that we can gather online, use in this platform, oh God. And oh God, as we begin our prayer service this evening, God, I ask, oh Lord, that you will just take full control. I pray, oh God, that you will guide us, oh Lord, that you would lead us. And everything that is said and done in every prayer, oh God, will be heard, oh God, and answered this evening. So we join together in prayer, oh God. God, and we commit every request, oh God, even now into your hands, Lord. Anoint us, be with us, touch us, oh God. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Hallelujah, Lord. We bless you, God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you to Suresha for that wonderful song of praise and honor unto our mighty God. Let's get straight into our prayer request. We are going to pray for the church leaders to be spiritually and physically prepared for the reopening of the church doors. Praise the Lord. Gracious and eternal Father, as we come before your throne this evening, O oh God, we lift up your church before you, O oh God. We pray, O oh God, for the local, the regional, and the international churches at this time, O oh God. Father, we pray, Lord, at this time, that when we come out, O oh God, the church come out of this pandemic time, O oh God, that the church is going to be strong, O oh God, because they have built, O oh God, the church upon the solid rock of Jesus Christ, O oh God. And we lift up the leaders and the members, O oh God, of these churches, O oh God, Father. I pray that they took this time, O oh God, to reflect, O oh God, Father, to do so searching, O oh God, and to work out their salvation, O oh God, with fear and with trembling, O oh God. To study your word, O oh God, Father, to build up themselves, O oh God, Father, in you, O oh God, to move forward at this time, O oh God, so that they will be spiritually, O oh God, prepared, O oh God, for when things are changed wrong and when the, the doors, O oh God, will be opened, O oh God, Father, O oh God. Father, I pray, O oh Lord Jesus, for the doors to be opened swiftly, O oh God, of your church, O oh God, so we can enter, O oh God, into your building, O oh God, and we can meet, O oh God, and get praise and get thanks and get glory unto your name, O oh God. Father, we will look forward, O oh God, Father, for the church doors to be open, O oh God, for those, O oh God, Father, who are not church at this, during this period of time, O oh God, they will be suffering, O oh God, Father, they'll be lacking, O oh God, they'll be hungry, O oh God, Father, and you said that man shall not live, O oh God, by bread alone, but every word that we see that out of the mouth of God, Father. So I pray at this time for those, O oh God, who may have fallen by the wayside, O oh God, Jesus, that, they will, that when the doors are open, they're going to come, O oh God, Father, into your presence, into your church, O oh God, Father, and they're going to be filled, O oh God, with your Holy Spirit, they're going to be filled with your word, O oh God, Father. Father, I pray, O oh Lord Jesus, O oh God, that you're going to open the door swiftly and quickly, O oh God, Jesus. For you said, O oh God, where the twos and the trees are gathered, that you are in the midst to bless, O oh God. Father, I pray at this time, O oh God, Father, we look forward, O oh God, Father, in meeting, O oh God. Meeting, O oh God, together as one, O oh God, as a body, O oh God, Father. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, Father, we pray for this, O oh God. Our souls and our hearts, O oh God, we long, O oh God, Father, to come together, O oh God, as brethren, O oh God, Father, to worship in your name, O oh God, Father. Father, I ask, O oh Lord, the name, O oh God, Father, we lift up the church and the brethren and the leaders, O oh God, Father, in this time, O oh God, in your name I pray, but in Jesus' name, Amen. And at this time, we'll go straight into another prayer request. I would like to pray for the government and those in high positions that may lead it will be a peaceful and quiet life and for the leadership to make the right decisions for the nation. I will ask Reverend Camille to take this prayer request. Reverend Camille. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Father, we continue to lift up our government before you. Father, we pray, O oh God, that your hand will continue to be upon them, that you would guide them, that God, you will lead them, O oh God, that they will be able to make the right decisions for your people in this time. Lord, as a country, we have made certain decisions, O oh Father, to open up, O oh God, our borders for some to return. We have made decisions, O oh God, to go into phase two of the government's plan. And Lord, shortly, we'll be going into phase three. And Lord, we pray, O oh God, for your continued wisdom. We pray for your continued favor. That Lord, I pray that as we 
respond as a country, as a nation, that God, there will be peace in our land, that Father, that all will be well. I pray in the name of Jesus that you, oh God, would guide the hands of our leaders and that, Father, that they would do what is right, that they would do what is wise in the name of Jesus. I pray, oh God, you would give them grace, you would give them strength, you would give them insight, you would give them knowledge, you would give them understanding in the name of Jesus. At God, as they make the decisions, oh God, that they will seek your face, that they will turn to you, that they will ask you, oh God, for the divine wisdom that is needed to make the right decisions, to do the right things as a country during this time. I pray, oh God, that your hand will continue to be upon our leaders, your hand will continue to be upon those who are making decisions, that your hand will continue to be upon your people, that Trinidad and Tobago, God, will come out of this stronger than ever before and God we would come out of this oh Lord in a position in a place oh God where Father we will be standing oh God that we would not Father be a place of upheaval but Lord we will be a place oh God of peace and, and that your reign and that your spirit oh God will continue to rest and abide in our nation and in our land so even now I thank you oh God for what you are doing I thank you for leading us I thank you for directing us and Lord at the end of it all we will not fail to give you the praise we will not fail to give you the glory in jesus name i pray amen and amen hallelujah 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 thank you reverend camille for that prayer request we go straight into another prayer request to be praying for revival that we will seek revival in our personal lives and our local and national churches i would like to ask sister maureen to take this prayer request Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus, we praise your name, almighty God. We worship and adore your name, Father. Oh, God, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise, oh, God. Oh, God. We magnify your name, Lord Jesus. We worship and adore you, oh, God. Father, oh, Lord God, this is the day you have made, Lord. And we are rejoicing and we are glad in it this evening, God. We thank you, almighty God, Father, for your goodness, for your favor, oh, Lord, oh, Lord God. And this evening, oh, God, revival, oh, God. Revival we seek after this evening. God, I pray in the name of Jesus, oh God, that every believer, oh God, will seek after revival, oh God. The psalmist David said, will thou not revive us, almighty God? And so, oh God, we are seeking revival, oh God. I pray this evening, almighty God, oh Father God, that we will look, oh God, we will seek after, oh God, the, the, the indwelling, oh God, and the baptism of the Holy Spirit in our lives, oh God, that we can do the work, oh God, this evening that you have called us to do this evening, God. And so, oh God, we pray that you will illuminate us this evening, God, and you will recharge us, oh God, with fire, oh God, fire from on high, oh God, power from on high this evening, Father God, the same power that raised Christ Jesus from the dead, oh God, that same power is working within us, oh God, and that is resurrection power, oh God, to revive us this evening. Almighty God, in the things of you, oh Lord God Almighty, this evening, God, oh God, as we seek, Lord, personal revival, we are also seeking revival for the churches, oh God, our local church, Almighty God, the churches nationally, oh God, and churches internationally, Almighty God, in the name of Jesus, let there be a revival, oh God, raise up the pastors and the prophets, oh God, raise up the teachers, oh God, this evening, raise up the elders, oh God, Father. Father, raise us up, O oh God, and, and quicken us this evening, Almighty God, by your Spirit, O oh Lord. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, let there be revival, O oh God, like, O oh God, like the prophets say, O oh God, let there be revival, like fire shut up in our bones this evening, God. Father, that, O oh God, this evening, we will be the power force of you on this earth, continuing this evening the work of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, Father, we thank you for pouring out your Spirit upon us, O oh God. And we thank you this evening for what you have already done and what you are doing and what you are about to do this evening. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. And amen, O oh Lord God Almighty. Praise amen. the Lord. Lord, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And this time we're going to pray for wisdom and decision making for the rebuilding 
of the local economy. I'm going to ask Reverend Cindy to lead us out in prayer. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Gracious and everlasting Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we bring the request concerning our national economic recovery before you. Lord, I thank you for your love towards us and your care in every area of our lives, dear God. And in this time of economic crisis, dear God, I come to you and we turn to you for there is none else that we can turn to. Lord, I'm praying this evening for wisdom, wisdom for leaders to guide us, oh God, to guide this nation out of this econ current economic crisis in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for that wisdom that is not of this world, that is not earthly, that is not sensual, dear God, but the wisdom that comes from above, the wisdom that is pure, the wisdom that is from you, O oh God, the wisdom that is all knowing and all encompassing, dear God. Father, we pray for the leaders and the team that has been appointed, O oh God, to chart the road to national economic recovery in the name of Jesus. Oh God, today I am praying that you will give them spiritual insight, dear God, into the actions that are necessary to stimulate the economy, dear God, in Jesus' name. Show them the areas, dear God, that would accelerate this in the name of Jesus. Open their eyes, Father, to new opportunities and resources in the name of Jesus, oh God. And Father, we are not just praying for a kickstart of the economy, but we are praying, Father, for wisdom, Lord, for a, 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 an economic recovery, dear God, that is sustainable, Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray for wisdom, wisdom, godly wisdom in the name of Jesus. Wisdom, dear God, that would help them, oh Father, to decipher what is constructive and what is appropriate and timely, what would work, dear God, for sustain economic growth in the name of Jesus. Father, we know that you have a solution. You have a plan, dear God, for our national economic recovery, Father. And I pray, Father, that your plan would be would be implemented through economic policies, Father, that would reflect biblical principles and would reflect your wisdom, Father. In the name of Jesus, I come up against any plan, dear God, that is not Holy Ghost inspired in the name of Jesus. Oh God, this evening, I thank you that you always provide for our needs and that you are going to continue providing in this area, in the name of Jesus, with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Remember that our God is a prayer answering God. And thanks for joining in with us in our prayer meeting. Please join in with us at 6 p.m. tomorrow for words of encouragement with our pastor, Bishop Baden Kai. God bless you richly. Let's pray at this time to dismiss. Gracious and eternal Father, we come before your throne this evening. We thank you, O oh God, for all the prayer requests that have gone before you, O oh God, as we lift them up in the name of Jesus. Father, we know that you are prayer answering God, Father. Lord, at this time, we wait, O oh God, Father, patiently, O oh God, for your answer, O oh God. And we believe, O oh God, Father, in Jesus Christ, that they are going to be done, O oh God, Father. And we'll see the victory, O oh God, Father, because you, O oh God, promises, O oh God, Father, what we pray for, O oh God, Father, it will be done in, in your will, O oh God. Father, this time, bless and keep, O oh God, Father, each and every one of us. In Jesus' name, I pray and thanksgiving. Amen.